following information is strictly top secret and meant for your eyes only. Both the Federal Bureau of Investigation and the National Undead Defense Emissaries have labeled Savannah, Georgia, SCAD in particular, as being the next hotspot for a zombie infestation. What is commonly known to SCAD students as the paper mill near Dyson is really a government-funded research facility that exists to turn the leftover grease from Paula Deed's cooking into a renewable fuel source by exposing it to nuclear radiation, extreme simulated weather conditions, and share. The only probable outcome of this project was a strange, meat-like substance that we've been selling to Sedevus for several years. As time has shown us, it is apparently a valid substitute for real food. Unfortunately, a single SCAD student, whose name has been withheld for security reasons, accidentally created what is now known as the Z-Virus. By combining Paula Deen's leftover grease meat, an energy drink, and the penicillin he was taking within his stomach. The student, being the host, is inexplicably immune to the effects of the Z-Virus. Rumor has it, however, that someone close to him has been acting rather odd lately, and we have already begun our hunt for this person. All of you have been chosen to receive this information, as you are currently carrying the required genetic makeup to host the Z-Virus. You must all be extra careful who you interact with, as it could very well mean your doom. Unless the strain of the Z-Virus mutates, only you are susceptible. We would relocate and quarantine you, but an operation this large would induce public outcry and mass hysteria. Thus opening the possibility for further spread of the infection. Therefore we will arm you with exactly what you need to survive. Pay close attention as a single mistake could end your life. In other words, you're all screwed. Humans vs. Zombies is the number one threat to America, according to conservative pundit Stephen Colbert. That being said, you've probably played this game a hundred times before as a kid. The main difference being a distinct lack of flesh-eating zombies, furious gunplay, and sheer terror. Oh, and you probably called it tag. Humans vs. Zombies is essentially a game of tag consisting of two teams, Humans, Resistance, and zombies, horde. All players start off as humans with the exception of one person who is chosen to be the original zombie, the OZ. The OZ will start the infection by tagging, feeding on members of the resistance who then, after an hour of death, become one of the horde. The zombies must tag a human at least once every 48 hours, otherwise they starve and are then out of the game. Humans may defend themselves from zombies with approved equipment listed below. The game will run from 7 a.m. to 11.59 and 59 seconds p.m. midnight each day from the starting date until the posted ending time for the final stand. So what is the objective? The zombies win if or when all human players have been turned into zombies, or by preventing the humans from escaping at the final stand. The humans can win either by outlasting all the zombies so that they starve, or by escaping them at the final stand. Details on the final stand and other missions will be released the night before they happen. Or will they? So let's go over what we need for this. First off, our official SCAD HVZ bandanas. These will be provided for you. Next, our human defensive weapons. Humans can use any combination of the following items. A Nerf style soft foam blaster, which by the way, it must remain bright non-metallic colors, no pain to get black. Or, balled up socks, these will be thrown. Don't have any on me, but I'm sure you can get the gist of it. <laughs> Socks may be taped or rubber banded for stability, but nothing within them to actually increase the weight or the hardness of the sock. Socks must be thrown. They do not stun while they're still in your hand. They have to leave your hand. Socks may be substituted for official HVZ Nerf balls. <laughs> and don't forget your ability to run fast. The slow will fall. You also need to keep on you your HVZ ID card. This is not your SCAD ID. Your card must contain your player name, your HVZ ID number, which you'll be receiving when you register online, and a moderator signature. The card is going to look something like this. These will be supplied to you. Now we have to go over a few safety rules. These rules were created for the safety of all players and are strictly enforced. Violation of safety rules will result in a ban from the game and dealing with the proper authority. Human defensive measures may only be those listed above, unless specifically given permission to by the administration. 
No hand-to-hand -hand combat is permitted. No melee weapons whatsoever. Only use nerf type mini dart firing guns or balled up socks. If an official zombie killing ball is issued to you, that is acceptable as well. No repainting of guns. If you repaint it, you, the color must be bright neon. Modding, however, is allowed. No playing in safe zones. Safe zones are shown on this map here. Or, if you find your HVZ flyer, it will give you a link to a website in which you can view safe zones and non-safe zones. Safe zones include all campus buildings, not including dorms. Vehicles, such as bikes, cars, buses, skateboards, rollerblades, anything on wheels basically. Players at work, in class, or in club activities. You are only safe inside of these safe zones. If you must resolve a debate during play, secure the area first or move to a safe zone. If you get tagged outside, not in a safe zone, while arguing about a tag, it's considered fair. No playing out of bounds. No playing out of bounds. Game missions. SCAD Humans vs Zombies is a very plot-eccentric version of the game. Humans will receive emails about upcoming missions before they happen, so keep checking your email. Additional details will be released via slips of paper, phone calls, or other nefarious means. So keep in close contact with your fellow humans in order to be in the wrong in order to not be in the wrong place, surrounded by hungry zombies. Zombies will receive bare bones info via email, either about human missions or even missions of their own. Details must be gleaned from captured humans who have turned zombie to fill in the blanks. So be sure to capture humans who seem to know what is going on. Successfully completing mission requirements will result in benefits for whichever side the mission was for. Missions can make or break the chances of a group's survival, so be sure to take them seriously. Human rules. Humans must log in to the game website from campus at least once per day to show that they are remaining active. Must keep ID card on person at all times in game. Humans must wear their bandana around their right arm and it must be clearly visible at all times in the game. Outside of clothes, you cheater. May, and probably should, stun zombies for 10 minutes by utilizing a foam dart, Shot a, from a gun. sock, or an official SCAD HVZ ball. Humans can't stun zombies from inside a safe zone. If you're trapped, find another exit or call for backup. Once again, player must give ID card to the tagging zombie and switch their bandana to the dead position around the neck. After one hour, player switches bandana to head, thus becoming a zombie and is now able to tag humans. Zombie rules. If you, are be if you become a zombie, you must feed by tagging a human at least once every 48 hours or your zombie will starve out at normal gameplay. What's normal gameplay? When zombies make a tag, they get two additional feed codes to distribute to other zombies. We'll go over these a little bit later. Feed codes will expire if not used quickly. Zombies only like fresh meat. You must wear your bandana easily visible around your head. Logo facing out. If your bandana is removed or obscured, it is caused for removal from the game. To tag a human, a zombie must place two hands on the human in question. Head hits or touches to privates may could very well result in removal from the game. <laughs> do you're not, not, you're do not, not. You're not doing that. Collect the human's ID card and report the tag on the website. Tags must be reported ASAP so that the new zombie can hunt. If hit with a foam dart, sock, or official SCAD HV Z-ball, zombies are stunned for 10 minutes. Your bandana must be switched back to the neck to show stun status, and the zombie must leave the immediate area. Players may not touch or interact with other players, including shielding other zombies, chasing a human, or calling other zombies. If hit again while stunned, the 10 minutes is reset. You may not actively shield yourself using held objects, i.e. an umbrella backed backpack. You may and probably should run, dodge, duck, and hide behind stationary grounded objects. Zombies must have both feet firmly planted out of a safe zone to tag a human. No jumping or diving tags into a building. Additional rules. No biting whatsoever. Seriously, no biting. You are not Superman. Do not leap off buildings or decks. You can break bones that way. You know who you are. 
Dang. The game will begin at 7 a.m. on the starting date and will run from 7 a.m. until midnight each day until the completion of the final stand. The final stand. The final stand will occur in the last hour of gameplay at the time posted by the mods. All info about specific specific all info about specifics on the final stand will be emailed before it takes place. If no humans are left or none show up to the stand, the humans lose. If at least half of the humans who start the stand are rescued, the humans consider it a win. More details to come. Any rules or subjects to change during game during play only by unanimous agreement of the moderator team. Any rule changes will be posted on the SCAD HBZ website, the game homepage, and emailed out to all players. So don't just believe the rumors, find out the information for yourself. Remember to abide by the DBAJ policy. Don't be a jerk. We all just want to have fun, so obey the rules and use common sense. Violators of the DBAJ policy will be dealt with accordingly, including possible removal of the game and dealing with SCAD administrators. I'm a jerk! Examples of DBAJ violations are Zombies picking up darts Any player willfully injuring another player Any player willfully or repeatedly breaking any rules And a player caught listening to NSYNC during gameplay Check it out None of you will ever be allowed in here Look at this banff room we've got here. Uh, uh. Sorry, it's our fort of weaponry. You can try to hit a moderator. We're but gonna I mean, win. Do you really want to come up against us? <laughs> That's the real question. Do you want to base this? No. We also no. have zombie aloe vera. And big hits. Yay! We will survive. I'm having another one, Josh. Okay. Oh. Abide by the DBAG policy. Don't be a jerk. DBAG will be dealt with accordingly. <laughs> Look on the official HVZ flyer. <laughs> it's again. totally held upside down. <laughs> no, Once no, no, again, no, it's for perfect. Detailed no, like Save zones and boundaries, go to your official HVZ vi flyer. Visor, flyer. These are safe zones. To me no melee weapons whatsoever. Only use nerf type <laughs> mini glass. <laughs> Slaughter. I'm here to break your women and children. Oh, it's recording, that's why I can't change it. Oh. <laughs> you cannot procreate with the undead. It doesn't work. Necrophilia is bad. <laughs> oh my gosh, it looks like Obama smiling. No, that's not right. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was gonna come out quietly. Don't put that oh on your face. <laughs> hey guys, let's find a bureau. Yo, Gabe. I know. Kind of. Hello. Yeah, I kind of. That someone close to him turns the page. I'm just gonna cut the reading mistakes count too. <laughs> it's true. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>